Some of you may not know this, but I am a huge fan of the medieval time period. You know, heads coming off with the axes and such. People being tried for witches and wizards. I love that. I mean, not, not what actually happened, but the fantasized version of it. That that is the one that I like. What actually happened was stupid and, and humans were dumb. So what better way to celebrate my love for that time period by spawning a trebuchet? A trebuchet? It is a medieval catapult taking advantage of a counterweight to fling a smaller object very, very far using momentum. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? The same guy who made this is the guy who made the cannons? If you guys are unaware of what the cannon does, let's do a little refresher so you guys can remember. All you gotta do is get a big old ball of metal, stuff it in the end, and then watch her fly. Bye. Salute. And then it goes for really far, and then it does a lot of damage, we assume. I mean, we'll never know because we're not over there. And I assume the trebuchet will work a similar way. Adjust the aim. Oh my god, what is this? What am I looking at? I didn't know this was gonna be like a test. Oh my god, we got sliders, check boxes. We're gonna release at 83 degrees. I don't know how this works. Let her fly now. Let her go. Let her loose. <laughs> uh, the counterweight does not seem to be doing anything. Fire! Man, this thing sucks. I didn't read the instructions, but it's not my fault. I subject you to a thousand cannonballs of death. You have brought this on yourself, Trevor Shea. <laughs> Clear the smoke. What has happened? I didn't break all the supports. Hold on. This trebuchet is coming down. Oh, now it launches. Now it launches perfectly as soon as I break all the supports. Burn it down. Burn it down. All right, yeah. I'm clearly missing something here. Okay, we have something. What is this? This is, uh... Oh, this is the cannon. This is the part. This is the part that actually gets launched, I think. How do we put that on there? What? It's on fire. Well, I didn't do anything. I didn't touch anything. I didn't even know that was possible. The ball is getting more hot and it's also getting louder. Did anybody turn up the thermostat? It is getting hot in here. Oh my God, it's burning the trebuchet. I didn't know that I, that I was on a time limit. Oh my God. And it just snapped. This is why we don't live in medieval times anymore because we realize that there's better ways to do things. What is this thing? What? That's how you launch it? Are you kidding me? It, it literally errored. The developer thought no one would be as stupid to let the trebuchet burn itself down. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's moving. Is this the final boss? Oh, uh, no. It's done for. Let me speed up the process for you. All right, before I enable the fireball of death. Oh, there it is. It actually does work. And it doesn't error as long as you do it correctly. Is there a way to reset? Oh, there is. Oh my goodness, he's thought of everything. Yes, bring it back down, lower it back down. This is historically accurate. All right, so we can pick this up. We put it back on our little ammunition here. It does catch on fire. We have a little bit of a time limit, but that's fine because I'm ready. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have to reattach it. Okay, and then I pull. It didn't work. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Wait, no, 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 no. This can't be right. This can't be right. No, not again. Where is it? Did I break it? Oh, no. It's literally going to catch on fire. There it goes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, now with not resetting it at all and only using what is spawned initially. Catch out. Am I missing something here? Reload. What do you mean reload? I just spawned it. It's a fresh spawn. Oh my God, quick. Yes, reload or whatever. I don't know what's happening. Can we reset? Can we? I hate this. Oh my goodness. I did not even realize this before. You can kind of see a faint dotted line and it actually maps out the trajectory. Where did it go? I think it faded away. It's gonna hit right there. Very sweet. If we had anything, because when we put something on it, it doesn't actually freaking work. All right, fifth time's the charm. Whoo! It actually worked! Oh my god! Yeah! Down with the empire. We made a fiery crater. Dang, that's sweet. Can we reuse this? My god, that's heavy. I'm gonna use the physics gun. It's the only device that can pick it up. Look at how heavy it is. That's insane. All right, we're gonna reload it. We're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the exact same one from last time. Hopefully, I can somehow get it to work. Not really sure if I'm doing this in a wrong order. Is it a procedural trebuchet? I attach um, this this one first, and then I attach this. It's not gonna work. What the heck? 
It's a one-time use type meme, you know? What if I just add my own cable? I don't need this mod's approval. Fire! Why does this never work the second time? I'm going to attempt the impossible. I'm going to fling myself from the trebuchet. Oh, it worked! <laughs> it actually worked! Wow! Ouch! That hurt. It works. It hurt. I'm gonna rap, be a rapper. I would love to see if this thing will ever work after being reset. We will find out together. First thing, check. Pull that thing off. Grab this. Reattach it. And then I pull it off. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Loosen rope. Loosen it. Then fire. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so it can actually reset. I figured it out. You're a silly goose. Pulley system is nothing for me. I'm so smart. I gotta attach the holder first. I, I didn't know I was supposed to know the entire history of trebuchet technology, but apparently you do. You gotta know these things. Grab that, throw the catcher on there, boom. Loosen the rope, it doesn't go anywhere. Add the ammunitions, and then we release the pulley. It's a, it's a million step process, but we can do it. Yeah! Woo! Perfect launch. Is it possible to reach the moon? Oh, wow. So yeah, we can actually throw things straight up. If the release angle's 90 degrees, then it go up. I want to attach something that is not supposed to be on here. You know what I'm saying? Like something like a car. Yeah, like maybe a small taxi car. That would be cool. Attach. So the way that we get around this uh, is the weld tool, I think. Nope, didn't work at all. Did I just weld this to the ground? I think I did. It's going to be called cable. Cable's going to work. Oh my god, it did! That worked so much better than I thought. How is that cable so strong? Uh-oh. Yeah, I just broke the whole thing. That was sweet! That completely surpassed all expectations. This counterweight? Money. Straight big ballin'. Let's see what a little extra length will do to our little experiment here. <laughs> it didn't even get off the ground. I have a good feeling about this one. I attached it from the back. What? What happened? I somehow messed it up. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm so confused. All right. Well, a little bit has changed since the last clip. I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we may have had a little premature launch. That's my bad. The first ever trebuchets to launch each other. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think anyone has tried this in human history. Oh, God. I forgot to launch the other one. Oh, uh, I think we could do that a little bit better. All right. Here's my double pulley device. I know. So genius. Ooh. <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't work as well as I thought it was going to work. It does look cool, though. Look at them go. Look at them fight. Who will win? Based on recent history, we know that the cable is a little bit too strong, and I would love to fling myself somehow, so I picked the lightest vehicle I could possibly think of, a bicycle, and I'm going to attach it with something not as strong, if it's possible to do so, a plank maybe? They do seem to be connected now. Pull this and jump on the bike. All I gotta do is pull that and jump on the bike. Pull that jump on the bike. Oh! No! How is the plank this strong, man? Whoa! That is one strong piece of wood. I really thought it was gonna break. You got my bike stuck in the ground. There's one more difficult part of the process, and I think it might be timing it correctly with this, uh, with this here. Now, I don't know how long that's gonna take, so I'm just gonna go. Are you kidding me? We got this. This is easy. Okay, we got it. Pull! Jump in! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's killing me. <laughs> it kind of worked. The timing is hard on that, dude. I don't know how to time that correctly. We're doing this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Pull. It didn't work. One, two, three. What do I got to count to five? Oh, okay, count to five. What the heck is happening in my trebuchet? What the heck is happening to my trebuchet? <laughs> <laughs> no. One, two, three, four, five. Eee! Ah, oh, so close, so close. Yeah! I can't believe we did it. We finally did it. Oh, I didn't live. I didn't live. Are you what? <laughs>